The three things I like about lemon capellini are, first, it's so fast to make, it's unbelievable, like five minutes from start to finish. Second thing I like is it's three ingredients, pasta, lemon, and butter. I usually have them in the house. And the third thing I like is it's great as a side dish, but also if you add things like a little shrimp, maybe a dollop of caviar on a special occasion, it can be a main course. Let's go make lemon capellini. Okay, pay attention. This is like the fastest pasta I ever made. So first I have a big pot of water to a rolling boil, I put a lot of salt in it. You want the salt to get into the pasta so it flavors it. Okay, and next, capellini, one pound. Capellini is a little thinner than spaghetti and a little thicker than angel hair. And it cooks in like four minutes. So you wanna put it right into the boiling water, just swirl it around, and just give it a big stir. And that'll keep it from sticking. Okay, next the sauce. I'm not gonna believe how easy this is. So it's a half a pound of butter. I know it's a lot of butter, but it's really good. The zest of two lemons, and I'm gonna zest it right over the sauce, because then the oils from the lemon zest get into the sauce. So you just want that little bit of bright yellow around the lemon. You don't want the white pith underneath, because that's bitter. This is a great dish. I make this all the time for New Year's Eve, because we love to go out, have drinks, have fun in Paris, take a little tour, and then come back and have dinner at midnight. And I don't want to start making a long, complicated dish. So what I do is I make this, and in literally in five minutes, dinner's on the table, lemon capellini with a big dollop of caviar on top. That sounds very festive New Year's Eve in Paris, doesn't it? Okay, that's one. And now one more. You know, I've seen so many recipes for lemons where they say, Okay, you want a half a cup of lemon juice and then lemon zest. But by the time you've juiced the lemons, you can't zest it. So always zest the lemons first before you juice them. So this is gonna be the zest of two lemons and then the juice of two lemons. This is really one of my favorite dishes of all time. It was my first book, Barefoot Contessa Cookbook, and I've made it ever since. Okay, that's that. Now I'm gonna do the juice of two lemons. In fact, I got this recipe on a New Year's Eve. I went to somebody's house and they were making it. I remember after a really long day at the store, I arrived at these people's house for New Year's Eve dinner and they were cooking and I kind of joined in just to be social. And the next thing I knew, everybody had left for the living room and there I was making dinner for everybody. <laughs> I thought, well, at least I got a great recipe out of it. Freshly squeezed lemon is just the best. Love my little juicer. Okay, this just goes right into the sauce. Two teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon of pepper. And just swirl that around. Make sure it's really nicely mixed. And let's see if the pasta's ready. Got to clear the decks a little bit. Whoa, runaway lemon. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cook this. Normally it cooks for four minutes for al dente, but what I'm gonna do is cook it for three minutes and then cook it in the sauce for another minute. Missy Robbins from Missy, the restaurant, pasta restaurant, taught me this. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I'm gonna just lift it out, let it drain a little bit, but then take some of the pasta water and put it into the sauce. And the starch in the pasta water thickens the sauce. And then I have lots of pasta water. <laughs> Just add back in if I need to. Missy Robbins is just an incredible restaurateur in Brooklyn. She owns two restaurants, Lilia and Missy. They both have unbelievable pasta that she makes. Think this is enough pasta? <laughs> this is gonna be so good. It's basically lemon, butter, and pasta, but the, the total is so much better than the sum of its parts. And then I'm just gonna toss it together. I mean, Missy tosses it in the air, but I'm gonna be a little more conservative. <laughs> I don't think I'll be, it'll be all over the kitchen and me if I do that. So just toss it all together. Just keep tossing it for about a minute. So all the butter and the lemon and the zest and the salt and pepper get absorbed into the pasta. 
And then as it sits, it's just gonna get a little dry, so I'm gonna put a little of the pasta water in. I wanna make sure it's really moist. You don't want it dry. Just toss it together. I wish you could smell this. It's just unbelievable. The, that sort of fresh citrusy lemon is so good. And butter. I mean, how bad can that be? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you how I plate it. So, I've got an Italian plate. I thought that would be pretty. And let, let me see if I can do it the way Missy does it. She takes a big thing of pasta. Whoa. So what Missy does is twirl it on the plate and your hand. So it ends up being a nice little pile. I don't know, hers looks better, but mine's still good. Oh, runaway lemon. And then I'm gonna do a little lemon zest on the top just so you know it's lemon. It's that last hit of lemon that really, that you really taste when you taste the pasta. And then everybody knows it's lemon. And I think maybe I'm just gonna do a little wedge of lemon on this plate. How's that? A little salt, a little pepper, and that's lemon capuani. Looks so good, I may have to try it. This, why do I think I'm gonna be wearing this by the time I'm done trying this? <laughs> just to twirl it around. This is not my forte. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, that's so good. It's really zesty from the lemon zest and juice. It's perfectly seasoned. That's an amazing pasta. It's crazy good. This recipe and more can be found in the Barefoot Contessa cookbook or at barefootcontessa.com.